What is going on everybody on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I'm a fifth year interventional radiology resident physician. So many people have reached out to me on Instagram and YouTube asking me what's in my doctor's bag. Okay, nobody's reached out, literally zero people, but I'm bored and on quarantine. So I'm going to show you exactly what I put in my doctor's bag or what I bring to work with me every single day. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so doctor's bags are kind of a thing of the past. Nowadays, people just bring like a little over the shoulder bag with them or a backpack. And unfortunately, I'm not like some of my colleagues who literally just bring their car keys with them to work every day. I'm probably a little more high maintenance than them. But anyways, here's the bag I bring with me to work every single day. Boom. So this is just a standard backpack I got. This is the Herschel backpack. I got it in this navy blue and charcoal pattern, which I really like. Um, I don't know how much this was. I have no idea how much this was. It wasn't that expensive. I'll leave the link in the description, but I actually got it because it's super big and can hold a lot of stuff as you are about to see. And this is what I bring with me to work every single day. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So it has these kind of magnetic flap things that just kind of click down which are really good, but can be kind of annoying at times, especially this drawstring. So I actually love this drawstring feature because it kind of cinches everything tight inside and nothing's going to fall out, but it gets super annoying to have to undo this like at the airport and stuff every time. I also bring this to the airport with me. Uh, so if you leave something in your bag, you have to like undo the string, open it up. You can't get to anything quickly, which is kind of annoying, but it holds a lot of stuff. So that's why I like it. I'm gonna put this down here. Actually, hold on. Let's bring another chair into the situation. All right, so first and foremost, as almost everybody brings with them to work, I have the laptop. This is a MacBook Air. I got this probably three or four years ago. So I actually edit every single video on this MacBook Air and it has like no memory. And I have an external hard drive as well, which I put all of my uh, data on from the video, but this thing just cannot handle what I'm cranking out at this point. So it's super good for traveling um, because it's super thin and doesn't take up hardly any space. But once I started YouTube and some of these videos, you know, are tens of gigabytes each when I'm editing them. And this has like 125 gigabytes of flash memory and it just can't handle anything I'm doing. So I'm gonna get the new MacBook Pro uh, which was just released. I'll probably get it in a few months or so. Um, and also, this can't handle the editing software that I'm going to start using. So, I'm gonna get rid of this soon. All right, so the next thing in my bag is the iPad Air. I think this is like the third generation. I actually just bought this about a week ago because my residency provided me with a normal iPad probably four years ago now. So for those of you who have owned iPads, you know that they just don't last that long and they get kind of slow after a while. This is like the third one I've owned. I didn't get the iPad Pro because I plan on upgrading my laptop and I don't really need two computers. That iPad is super efficient and high end and I don't need two super computers that kind of do the same thing. This is more for just kind of taking with me. I usually just you know, read journal articles or watch Netflix or YouTube on this thing. So I travel with it a lot. Um, but if you want me to show you all my favorite apps I use on iPad or iPhone, let me know in the comments below. Next in the bag, we have, a, I don't know what this thing is. I don't know how it got there, but it's definitely not mine. All right, next thing I have in my bag is an umbrella because Sometimes you come out of work and it's pouring down rain and that's not good. So you never know when you're going to get caught in a rainstorm after work because you work these long shifts, you never see what it looks like outside the whole day and then sometimes you leave the hospital and it's pouring down rain. You had no idea. So always pack an umbrella. All right, the next thing I have in my bag is my pager. I swear, every time I show a pager on Instagram or YouTube, 
I get so many questions about, so many people are like, what is that? I don't, I've never even seen that before. As you can see here, it's just a pager. This one's like the most outdated pager of all time. So this is a pager for those of you who did not grow up in the uh, late 80s or 90s. Before cell phones, us cool kids used to wear these on our hips and we thought we were so awesome. Now they are super outdated, but for some reason the hospital uses these still. It's actually not bad because I kind of prefer it over a cell phone and you can actually get pages on your cell phone now, but I don't know. There's something, this is like separate from my cell phone and I kind of like it. And this is how you get in touch with me when I'm in the hospital. It also works outside of work. So when I get paged overnight on IR about an emergency, this pager works and I live like 15, 20 minutes from the hospital and it still gets me over here. I wish I could play you how annoying this old timey sound is that comes from this thing, but it's broken now, so it doesn't even ring. All right, the next thing I have in my bag is a tripod. This is a Gorillapod by Joby, as you can see there, Joby. Uh, I'll link all this stuff down below, like I said before, except for my pager. So this is actually my favorite uh, tripod here. I take this with me everywhere when I travel, um, and even into work, as you see. Um, and my favorite feature of this is that, first of all, it's super rugged and can hold on to pretty much anything. You can put it anywhere. But also, it has this little function right here where you can go like Instagram mode because all Instagram shots are portrait. That's the way to go for those. Um, so I really like it for that reason. But it's super portable, super lightweight. I bring this with me everywhere, including the hospital. All right, so next up in my bag, I have my lunchbox which is actually just a Lululemon bag. So this is a life hack for everybody who shops at Lululemon. These bags are awesome. They're like super durable and they last a long time. I just have a whole bunch of bars in here in case I need them at work. But yeah, Lululemon bags are the best lunchbox if you don't have a lunchbox or a lunch bag. And while we're on this same subject, I always bring a water bottle with me. This is one of those clean canteen water bottles. I don't know if you can see it even focuses there. Clean canteen, I don't know where I bought this. It's like an aluminum water bottle or something. So this is a must because if I don't drink enough at work, I will inevitably get a headache at like three or 4 p.m., I swear. If I ever get a headache, I always know that I didn't drink enough. So you gotta have a water bottle in your locker, just stay hydrated. All right, so the next thing I have in here is, I always keep a, travel charger in my bag. So I actually bought this before, I think before we went to South Africa or somewhere, Thailand or something. But I always have this in my bag when I travel and I thought I would just leave it in there regardless because I mean, you never know when you may need a charge and you may not have an outlet or you may need to be portable while you're charging. So um, I'll link this one down below. It's awesome, super lightweight really thin as you can see right here. And yeah, does the job. So the next thing I have in my bag, which is arguably the most important thing, are eye drops. These are Lumify eye drops. These were recommended to me by my optometrist friend, Paola. Thank you, Paola. These are a lifesaver. I don't know, these, I think these, they're actually kind of expensive, but they're super good eye drops and they keep your eyes hydrated all day long. I wear contacts, for those of you who didn't know. So if you are staring at a screen a lot like we do, these eye drops are the way to go. Again, not sponsored, just really like this product. Thank you, Paola. All right, so there is no rhyme or reason to the things I'm pulling out of my bag. I'm just literally feeling in here and pulling out whatever I find. So the next thing is compression socks. And these are compression socks by Figs, Figs. As you know, I love figs, everything about them, everything about the company, and I especially love the tropical vibes, if you can read that. Um, I wear these compression socks literally every single day I'm on procedures in IR, on the Interventional Radiology Service. When you're wearing lead all day long and you don't realize how much stress you put on your legs, and when you wear these, I swear, you're not nearly as sore the next day. That's just anecdotal evidence. I don't know what the evidence is behind it, but I love wearing these. When I wear these throughout the day, I can actually work out after work 
but if I don't wear these, I'm like too tired to work out. So since we're on the topic of IR, these are my radiation goggles that I wear every day during procedures. So it comes with a little anti-fog squirt thing. So these are my lead lined goggles that I wear every single day. They are Nike, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I can't remember the model number, but they have this floating nose piece, which is what I really like about these goggles and these vents up top. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but it kind of keeps air flowing when you're wearing a mask and it's really tight. These don't fog up near as bad as a lot of other glasses I've used. Next up, you've seen me talk about this before. I keep this in a special little case, I don't know why. This is the Utec. This is the Utec mouse, which I've talked about, or you've seen me post about on my Instagram, which I love. It has the, I think 12 buttons on the side, which you can program, and also the wheel and stuff on top. I'll probably do a video on this because I love it so much. It's kind of changed my life when on diagnostic call, you can just fly through studies way more efficiently than you can on just using just a regular mouse. I'll do a whole review on this probably, if you want me to. If you want me to do a review on this mouse and why I love it in radiology, comment below. Next up, I always keep my glasses on me because like I said, I wear contacts and these are just Warby Parker glasses. You saw me wear them on a video, I think two videos ago when I was doing a lecture. I was wearing these early in the morning. Um, just Warby Parker, big frames. I have a big head, so these are kind of big square frames, just like my radiation goggles are. So that's what I like. It looks the best on me when you have a big head. All right, so next up in the large pocket, I think this is the last thing in here, is my dock kit. Um, this is basically just a like toiletry kit that I always have on me. I told you I was high maintenance. I don't know why. I like never even use anything in here, but I just have it. I don't know why. I got this from South African Airlines when we flew them. They gave us a whole bunch of these. As you can see, I use one for my mouse and for this. So I'll show you what's inside here. So always have ibuprofen on me at all times because you never know when you're gonna get a headache. And if you don't have it available, you'll be miserable. So always have this on me. Next, I have this travel brush. Literally never use this thing ever. I don't even know why it's in here. I think I have like a fear that my hair is gonna be messed up or something. Next, chapstick. You have to have chapstick. Contact case with contact solution because for those contact wearers out there, you never know when something's gonna go bad and you'll have to either take out your contacts or one tears or something goes wrong. So you always have to have a case nearby in case you need to switch over to glasses. And then in the side pocket in here, I always have a few of these floss picks because I'm super anal when it comes to having stuff in my teeth. I'm always like deathly afraid of having something in my teeth. So I always keep these on me just in case. All right, so now we are going to switch over to the front pocket here. This is where I keep all just the odds and ends. So again, with two magnet flaps here. First things first, you gotta have the charger. Next in this small pocket, AirPods. Use these pretty much every single day. Um, walking into the hospital and out of the hospital, listen to podcasts. Sometimes if I'm just doing monotonous work, I'll listen to a podcast or whatnot. And yeah. So, love these. So next, I just have a few pens in here because we have to write things on the interventional radiology service and we have to consent patients prior to having procedures done. So for them to sign the consent form, they need a pen and for some reason they are there never is a pen around to you, so always bring your own. And last but not least, this is an absolute must. I always have way too much of this on me at all times, as most of my friends can attest. So I always have tons of gum on me at all times. I guess I just have a fear of having bad breath or something. I don't know why, but I just love having gum on me, especially because, I don't know, you're talking to patients and other people, you want to have some gum on you. All right, so that officially concludes this video. Now you know everything I bring in and out of work on a daily basis. I hope you all enjoyed it. 
Leave a comment below if there's something that you bring to work every day that you notice I don't bring and that I should bring. Also, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I've seen a lot of lurkers around here that need to go ahead and subscribe because we are approaching 100,000 subscribers soon and I'll probably do a pretty good giveaway. So the sooner, the better. So hit that subscribe button. As always, turn on post notifications so you are notified when I post a new video, which is usually about once or twice every week. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video.